What's up guys, welcome back, it's me, Carlos. This is my channel, Just Ask Carlos, and I wanna thank you so much for checking it out. Make sure that you hit that like button, hit that share, and of course, subscribe because it helps me get these videos to other people looking for help. So this video is about the Oculus Quest 2, and if you don't know what that is, make sure you check it out on oculus.com. It is the VR headset brought to you by Oculus, owned by Facebook. So if you've never played any virtual reality games, this is the one that you wanna get. It's $299 to get into it, 64 gig version available, and they have a 256 gig version for $100 more. Now that we've got that out of the way, this is the VR headset that I'm talking about. Right now I have it connected to my computer, and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it. No more connecting to your computer with the latest version of Oculus, which is version 25. Version 25 allows you to install apps from what's called App Lab, basically a collaboration between them and SideQuest. I know all this probably sounds like gibberish and it's another language if you're not familiar with all of it, but don't worry because it's really simple from here on out and I'm gonna show you why. So if you clicked on this video or you're watching it because it was shared in a group, this is the reason you're here. Before you had to sideload applications by plugging in a USB-C cable to your computer or if you wanted to, to your phone, and then you could move apps, any app that you could install to an Android phone, basically you can install to this headset. You're gonna put this headset on, you're gonna to go to the Oculus browser, you're gonna to go to SideQuest, and you're gonna do the exact same thing you did on your computer. You're either gonna go directly to downloading the application that you want, or wherever it is that they're saving their file, and then you literally just download it. It's gonna store it in the downloads folder on this headset, and that's kind of where people are hitting a roadblock. Here's where I move that roadblock. I'm gonna show you all of this while I'm recording it, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this and show you how to install everything from this headset. So the first thing in order to upload any of these APK files or applications to your Oculus is to launch SideQuest. If you don't have SideQuest set up and installed, I recommend you do that first. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is go and download SideQuest, install, make a couple of changes, and you're done. So there's great tutorials out there on how to install and configure SideQuest. But once that's done, come back here. So you're going to want to plug your Oculus into your computer using a USB-C cable or USB-C to USB-A cable if your PC doesn't have USB-C ports. When you plug it in, it's going to show a little green dot here instead of red. It's going to show your IP address and battery meter and what the device is that is connected. Once you have that verified, you're going to come over here to this icon, which is install APK file from folder on computer. When you click on it, it's going to bring up your Windows Explorer and you're going to be able to see the temp file where it's pulling all of these APKs from that you want to install. Now, if you haven't saved them to this directory, don't worry. Once it opens up, you can drag it directly from wherever you have it saved, downloads or your desktop directly into here and then you can launch it. So we're going to find file manager. We're going to click on open. It's going to show up here as a task. Once it's finished running, you'll see the green bar at the bottom that says all tasks completed. That's it. Now you can open up your applications on your Oculus. Click on at the very top corner, unknown sources, and you'll see at the top of the list, the latest APK that you've installed. If you don't want to use your computer, I'm going to show you now exactly what to do. So you never have to connect to your computer and you can install it from your couch. So, Let's say we're going to SideQuest, we want to download a game. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So let's open up the browser. And all you're gonna to have to do is click on apps down at the bottom. Make sure you have all selected up in the top right corner. And you're gonna to go to browser. We're gonna to go to SideQuest, vr.com. This is gonna take you directly to the SideQuest homepage and you can see Crisis Brigade 2 is on their header. But we're going to find a free game that we can download right now that I don't have currently. So let's look at Hiabo. Go ahead and click on the game. We're going to go to the on itch in this case and we're going to hit download now. Obviously support these developers. For the sake of this video we're going to go right to the download and notice this is a .apk file. So I'm going to click on download going to show the download started and this is going to take a minute to download and once it's finished you can come back up here and you can see in the downloads there is the file that we just downloaded now unfortunately open doesn't do anything you can only delete it well now we're going to open up our apps we're going to go to unknown sources 
and we're going to use file manager plus file manager plus already has our downloads folder and we're going to open up hibo we're going to hit install you may be prompted to turn on installations just say yes come back and run this install again and we're going to hit open let's exit back to channels we're going to come back down here to apps and there's hibo here we go So in the time it took for me to explain exactly how to do this, it probably took less time for me to actually do it. So I highly recommend downloading File Manager Plus, which you can find by Googling File Manager Plus. Download it, install it using SideQuest. So every time you want to download something to your Quest, whether it's a VR game, if it's an Android app that you enjoy playing and you just want to play in the headset, you can download it now simply using the headset. So make sure you give this video a like, leave some comments down below. Let me know if you have a favorite file manager that you like to use. Personally, File Manager Plus works great. No ads, no clunkiness, and it takes me right to the downloads folder, which is fantastic. So leave those comments down below. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. Again, it helps me get these videos to people who are looking for help and I can make more videos. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm Carlos. This is my channel, Just Ask Carlos. I'll leave all the links down in the description to everything that if you want to find them. And I'll definitely see y'all on the next one.